Hey guys, Eric from mobilemusthave.com, and today we've got a really cool, unique product from Parsec. Inside of this little tube is a 20 inch by 20 inch antenna ground plane uh, that gives us a lot of installation flexibility for mobile users. Come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. Yeah, so when we were down in Plano, Texas, talking to the team at Parsec, uh, we were spending a lot of time talking about ground planes. And what a ground plane uh, does, uh, you know, kind of at the simplest level, is it's, it's a piece of metal, usually, you know, conductive metal, typically aluminum or steel, that is mounted underneath the antenna, flat, horizontally, extending past the antenna. Uh, when you look at spec sheets on antennas, you're going to typically see in fine print, these max gain specifications include the use of a ground plane, usually a rather large ground plane, 20 or 24 by 24. Um, but sourcing a piece of metal that large and also getting it to fit if there are any issues on your roof or possibly a slight amount of curve on the roof can be problematic. This is what Parsec has come up with, and we're here to tell you all about it. So getting back to the basics of ground planes, that metal uh, ground plane that's going to be mounted horizontally underneath that roof antenna, I've got one here as an example. Here's a Parsec Husky, uh, which is a very popular high performance antenna. Um, it doesn't necessarily need a ground plane, but if you use one, it will improve the performance a bit on the antenna. Now, a ground plane will mount underneath this antenna. If this antenna was mounted on your roof like this, the ground plane would be right below it. And when the cellular signals kind of bounce across uh, the earth, they would hit that ground plane and bounce into the antenna. And that ground plane will improve the antenna's ability to pick up and also transmit that cellular signal. Now, if you have a vehicle roof that has a metal roof, you've got a ground plane already built into your roof. Your roof is the ground plane because it's made of metal, so you're covered. But if you're like me and you're in an RV, or if you're looking at a marine application or anything where you're really looking at kind of mounting this on plastic or on fiberglass, uh, it's going to be really tough for you to... Um, you know, use the roof as a ground plane because it's not made out of the right material. Now what you have here, as I kind of get this all rolled out, is a 20 inch by 20 inch piece of aluminum that has ultra high strength 3M like adhesive on the back of it that can get you uh, secured up to your roof. By keeping this ultra, ultra thin, uh, we can ship it in very small tubes. It's kind of cost prohibitive and very difficult to ship something 20 inches wide without making the cost really out of control. So by making it ultra thin and being able to be rolled up, uh, it keeps the cost of this down, but it also means that it's really big. So it's gonna have a lot of performance uh, characteristics or benefits in what it can do. This product can be cut with a standard pair of scissors. You could obviously use metal shears if you want, but it's like a really, really thick tin foil, uh, but it will stand up to the outdoors and to the elements. What you're gonna wanna do to get this installed is take a really, really good cleaner to the roof. Uh, mineral spirits often is really good for most RVs, but if you have a TPO rubber roof or something else, just go ahead and you know, do a Google search and look for a good way to clean that roof off. Um, typically something like this is going to adhere best to a roof that's got a very, very smooth surface, allowing that adhesive, adhesive properties to stick. But we have seen it work on rubber roofs as well. And we'll tell you a little bit about how we get them to perform optimally. Once you've got this sort of fit on the roof and you know where you're gonna put it, you've got this marked out on the roof, I'd actually put this aside and double check where that antenna is going to be mounted. We have a number of different installation videos with antennas that give you an idea of the best way to install a roof antenna. Make sure you're really careful with where you're drilling and that you're not drilling through any AC ducts or electrical wiring, because that can cause all sorts of problems. We typically recommend you get a long drill bit with like a 3 8 inch, nice and small drill bit, and drill a pilot hole to make sure you're not hitting anything. And if you did hit something lightly, you could die core up that hole and try elsewhere. And then also 
you know, we show this in the videos a lot, but just make sure you're not drilling through any of the joists or the studs or the aluminum bracing that's in that roof. And you can typically see that. We'll link below one of the last installation videos I did in a travel trailer um, that can show you kind of a good way to understand what you're going through and picking an optimal spot. So once you're there, I recommend that you go ahead and drill the larger size hole that's going to be ready for the antenna. And once you've drilled that through, the top of the uh, roof and then also drilled through on the bottom of the roof, uh, you're pretty much ready to now apply the ground plane. All right, so let's talk about installation kind of best practices for this product. We've got one of these installed on a trailer uh, that's been in use for six plus months with no issues using the methodology, but it's really all about prep. You want to make sure you prep that roof, get it super clean to make sure that you have an optimal installation experience and no water gets underneath this that could compromise that adhesive that you've got holding down this ground plane. So make sure you go ahead, like we said before, clean that roof as well as possible with mineral spirits you can also finish it off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and once it's dried off go ahead and make sure that this fits exactly where you like it on the roof um, and you kind of set this aside don't cut that yet uh, we want to make sure that we go ahead and do a test pilot hole through the roof making sure we didn't hit anything in the roof and then go ahead and drill out the larger hole depending on the antenna you have as your finish hole both from the top and the bottom we have a video on installing uh, pep wave antennas and we've also done a couple with pointing and with parsec they're all pretty much the same so this installation method is going to use that same method we're not using the locking nut um, but there's this couple different things so we're going to drill that hole through the roof like you see in those videos and then we're going to come back to this now you can measure through here to find your center point on this pretty easily if you just measure and pop a little pinhole there and then before uh, you put this down Go ahead and flip this over after again your roof is clean and remove that adhesive now i recommend that you have the ground plane set up in this configuration sort of like a taco <laughs> now you'll have that small hole in the middle and you can go ahead and line that up with the hole on your roof and drop that right in the center on top just in the center there and then you want to mm -hmm. press up and out from that. Now we've had some customers use literally baking rolling pins and in testing, and they've been really, really happy with the results. Uh, so that's an option. Or you can pick up a, uh, a small roller that's designed for rolling out like automotive headliner and stuff like that at a big box store typically. You don't really need it though. Um, you know, we can, you can just really install this honestly just with, with your hands if necessary. So go ahead and go center and then just nice and gentle, go ahead and apply all across and down to get that nice and flat and then go ahead and do the other side and that will be adhered to the roof. Next, you wanna take that pinhole. You can take a razor blade and just cut like a pie, like a pizza in four different directions and then fold down the remaining sections into the hole. And then you can take your antenna, route the wires through that hole just like you see on all the other antenna installation videos, because this is already done and below it, you're going to basically follow all the steps you see in those videos. So you fold that down, go ahead and put that antenna down and finish up your configure your connections and whatnot. Now, before you leave the roof, you're going to want to take for best practices, a bead of die core self-leveling sealant and go ahead and trace the edges here of this ground plane. The ground plane will still functionally operate with the die core. It'll, it'll uh, just waterproof it so that no water can get underneath the ground plane and compromise the adhesive. Once the antenna has put, been put down, it will stick to the ground plane. The ground plane is sticking to the roof. So you're covered there. And then we just want to die core around the antenna one last time to make sure no water can get into the adhesive on the bottom of the antenna. And that's pretty much it. If you did have to cut a corner off or something like that, again, it'll still work. Just make sure you die core all of the edges of the ground plane and you should be good to go. One note, you know, this is pretty, pretty resilient stuff, but you just don't really want to necessarily walk on it a bunch or do anything that might create a rip in this that could potentially get water into it. If something happens and you get a little pinhole or something occurs, just drop a little bead of die core over that and that'll seal that right up and the ground plane will still work fine, so it's okay. 
since we're all about tips and tricks, hey, if you have to return this for some reason and it's unused, we obviously can't return it if it's been used, but you can go ahead and use this tube to go ahead and roll this right back up. There we go, nice and perfect. Go ahead and slide that out. And then you can just rotate from the inside, outside here a little bit to kind of just tighten that up so that it's getting smaller, 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 smaller. There we go. And you can just slide it right back into the tube using a, count, a clockwise motion for me because of the direction I put it in and get that right back into the tube. Uh, so that's a good way to get it back in there. For some reason, you have to get that back to us. If you're thinking about purchasing this product or any product on mobilemusthave.com, we highly recommend that you check out our membership programs. Membership programs give you discounts on everything on our store. Uh, they give you access to the dogs in the warehouse. No, just kidding. Uh, they give you access to discounts on mobile data plans. And probably most importantly, they give you access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center at rvmobileinternet.com, which includes forum access for asking more advanced troubleshooting technical support questions. That forum is staffed by myself and other team members. So if you want to take a look at the memberships, typically they will pay for a mobile internet purchase or the mobile internet purchase will pay for the cost of the membership on your first purchase. It's really something worth taking a look at. Uh, lots of savings there, upgraded shipping, all sorts of stuff, too much to kind of list. But if you go to membership.mobilemusthave.com, there's different membership level options um, with different benefits. Just check that out before you make a big purchase. Uh, that could save you some money and some headaches and some time. For a detailed list of specifications on this product, go ahead and hop over to the listing page and click on the documentation tab, which will give you a link to the manufacturer specifications with all of the details on the performance specification data. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about this product or any product on our website, please make sure to reach out via chat in the bottom right hand corner to speak to a representative. You can also email us at info at and we will see you on the road. Thanks so much for watching.